Hello everyone! Today I want to show you my newest asphalt material, which I made entirely in Substance Designer, and its features will be covered in this video. This material is available in ArtStation Marketplace. Enjoy! For this presentation I will use Substance Painter, but of course this material can be used in other programs from the Substance package, such as Substance Sampler or a completely free Substance Player, to which link can be found in the description of this video. This material contains five different presets, from which you can choose one to speed up your workflow. For example, if you just want to generate simple road textures without any damage, then Clean Preset will be the best option for you as a starting point. But in this case, I'll start with the default preset and then I'm gonna tweak its parameters to show you the possibilities. Let's start with the roughness and roughness variation. Well, first one is self-evident. As you can see, it makes whole material evenly rougher or smoother, but roughness variation allows you to break the uniformity of the roughness by adding some grunge texture. Now, let's jump to the damage category. Here you can edit asphalt covering, which controls how many big holes will be generated. You can also change the hole size and offset them in any direction. For now, I will turn off these holes by changing asphalt covering value to 1 and I'll focus on surface imperfections parameter, which allows me to make this asphalt more or less rugged. In patches category, you can add patches, edit their seed and also offset them if you need. I forgot to mention about asphalt lightness, which is influencing how dark or light is the surface. Now let's scroll down again and play around with road lanes. You can turn them on or off, make them to be painted over or under patches, change the color, And with vertical masking, you can make them to be intermittent. Here you can change the size of the lanes. And here you can choose if one or two lanes are showed. If you want to do some changes in the ground that is revealed along with the holes, you can go to the pebbles category and change their amount. You can even turn off them completely, but it won't look realistic, so I suggest to have at least few of them. You can add water and edit its properties like a sludge core and depth, water lever and so on. If you choose to buy this material with extended license, you will gain access to full Substance Designer graph of this material. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you next time.